Hi guys, like I said, I'm going to go through the DSM tool um, and how to set up a break-even point. So, um, so I'm at the dashboard or homepage of dsmtool.com. All you have to do is click up here and then down to settings. And then the settings tab, you'll go to the lister. And then the default target for me, I do e ebay.com. Um, this is your item location where you can put. Actually, this may have changed. H eBay site is auto sell item for you with the big city name in the center of the US, United States. Or dot com Arizona United States or dot com okay yeah we could do that or if you want you could do New York New York or anywhere Dallas Texas and break even point um, Let's see what the calculator says. So, break even point 10% for if you don't have a store subscription, 1.9.5% if you uh, have a store subscription. Um, this is wrong, it's actually 2.9%. And tax estimation, I mean, if you do 10%. Okay, like on average eight percent. So twenty point five, make it twenty percent. So default break even percentage I'd set to twenty. Calculating the nine point one five percent for eBay fees, two point nine percent in PayPal fees, and you add thirty cents, I'm sure, but you can take that from the tax. Tax estimation is uh, eight percent. So say if you were tax exempt, you could do something like 12.05. I would actually add another 3% to make that 15% just for, for a cushion um, and for the 30 cents, of course, or if you don't have, um, if you're at a higher EB percentage and whatnot. So, all right, so let's go with a 20% break even point. All right, and then in addition to that 20%, you can do the desired profit. Let's see, desired profit is calculated as a percentage of the source price. Set your desired profit. They're all automatically up here. You can still change the desired profit during the listing process. Right, so usually what I'll do is you do another 15%. Um, or if you're newer, you want to be competitive you do 10% and so it'll give you a break-even percentage of 20% and a break-even and a additional 10% for profit so a total of 30% if you want to be simple about that and then block Vero brands is on enable auto filling is on this is where you can update your logo. That's for VIP members only, for paying members. And again, guys, this is my new account, so I just did it default to buyer, uh, paid 30 day return policy. Um, like I said, I didn't, did not do any business policies yet. And I could go into that in another, um, video. All right, and then so you can do break even for specific sources. Well, I'm only set up for Amazon.com since it's the free, the free version of DSM tool for 51st listings. Um, so if you want, like if you were tax exempt in Walmart, you go in here and say this was Walmart, so you could. 
you know, break it down to 15% and or Home Depot, 15% if you were tax exempt. And you can do that accordingly to all your other sources. But like I said, this is a free one. And the Amazon Monitor, I guess I can go through as well. So some people say when they list things from Amazon, they'll say, uh, this item is out of Prime. So this is what where this is. When item is out of Amazon Prime program, DSM2 will automatically place it in protection mode. So if it's already out of Prime, then it will not list it for you. So that's called Amazon Prime protection. So if it doesn't have Prime shipping, you won't be able to list it or keep it as out of stock if you already listed it. Um, so it just prevents um, from fulfilled by merchant like other drop shippers or and then what else get price supply tables we don't do treat add-on as in stock um, that's another issue and for protection you have two options change target find it to zero or double the price. I prefer to change it to zero. Um, like like I said, when you put the out of stock protection or the out of stock option, enable it in your eBay, you can do this. And enable mono, uh, monitoring. Okay. All right, let's go into walmart.com. I don't know why it does .org. Hold on a moment. Walmart.com. No, Amazon, right? Amazon.com. And let's list anything. Coffee mug. Go with this. All right. So all you have to do: find the item, sure it's Prime. Copy the URL. Go to listing, Rapid Lister. To the left here. All right. So the link goes here. I do single listing. Um, and then ebay.com, I have no template. I mean, you can use a template if you'd like. Let's go with the big sale template. And then import. Maybe my internet that's slow. Sorry, guys. So there are other sources, Amazon, Home Depot, just the title, use it, it's very cool. And you can get rid of signs um, that don't really help your casino. So you have six, eight more, okay, what else, black font, Republican, 11 ounce. I want to say it was oh let me not use that then okay so I just want to show you uh, cannot find any competitors with this UPC so it'll tell you what other list other listings um, on eBay that would have this particular UPC. Um, so the price is what we set up. So this is from the source, twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. Final price at eBay would be seventeen eighty six. Estimated profit would be a dollar and thirty cents. 
um, because we did the 20% break even and plus 327. Okay, and then desired profit is 10%. Um, say you just want it to be at 20. All right, let's change it. So it will just change the desired profit to 23%, um, $20, and then it'll calculate the profit. Or say, say that you want, you know, another profit, like at least $10, okay? At least $10. Well, you can't do it from here. You could while well, you're in another stage, but at least ten dollar profit. There you go. Like to play around with it. Okay, the seventy-seven percent profit margin, guys. <laughs> but yeah. Um, it would go to default, like I said. Okay, now I did the 15% margin or 10% margin. Okay, so you play around with that. Um, this is when you're uh, used to it and you're in this particular niche or market and you know that you know you, you could sell this particular cup for $20. That's where you could just go ahead and up it. But um, if you want to just go ahead and list without thinking of prices and just, you know, just optimizing a title, this is an automatic way of um, TSM tool just automatically pricing it for you. Uh, and then you would also put in the selected specific, add more specific items or item specific things for your item, sorry. And hailing time. Like I said, I would default it to one, two, three. Um, Amazon Prime, you can do usually one day. Um, or if you want to default to three because you're new, that's fine. Um, uh, listed as good to cancel. Item location as Phoenix. Uh, it didn't save for some reason over there. Then you could also do anything with like a collage here. Um, Oh, that's for our VIP members. Interesting. And then the big sale template will give you the description. Mobile contact makes it mobile friendly and the shipping information here. And feel free to edit any of these, uh, um, edit any of these, you know, wording here if it doesn't apply to your particular store. Alright guys, if you like more videos like this, uh, give me a heads up, thumbs up, and subscribe. Hit the little bell notification, and once I, you know, make more videos on DSM Tool or uh, eBay, you'll get a notification. So this is the second step of how to set up my new eBay store. And you go down and then publish. Alright guys. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link down down below for a free trial for DSM tool. You get it for the first 50 listings for free. Um, so you'll be able to list it, track it, reprice it, and manage. Alright guys, have a good day.